Hello guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a UI project. It is Blinkit clone in Flutter. So let me bring the application. I have already made it running inside the emulator. So here we have our application. The application starts with the home page. Clicking on the continue button opens up the login and sign up model. And uh, after entering your phone number and clicking on the continue, you are redirected to the OTP verification screen. After entering a random OTP, you can uh, verify it and you are then redirected to the home page. On the home page, first of all, we are having an address selection. Here we have our profile icon. Then we can search for products. And then we have our carousel slider, which shows different, different categories. And then we have our categories. Uh, and then after that, we have our specific categories section. Here also we have a floating action button clicking on which opens up the categories. Now after that we are having a, a side container. It shows the total number of items in the cart. Every data in the application is now is not calculative. It's a dummy data. So don't go upon the numeric values or anything else. It is uh, not calculative. Now uh, clicking on any of the categories here we are now redirected to the products screen here we have our subcategories and we have our products for that category you can obviously clicking on click on the product and view its uh, details and you can also add the product to the content. so also you can search for the products here we have our search here we have our certain suggestions and now you can search for a uh, item for example banana clicking on the search here we have a banana okay so clicking on the next you are then redirected to the cart screen in the cart screen we have our uh, uh, items and then we have our coupons add coupon section you can say and then we have our pricing sections every data is you know calculated there is no uh, correct or uh, you know right data present and then we have our ordering for someone else button and then cancellation policy after that we are having a stack section which contains two subsections first of all address selection and then payment selection now clicking on the change obviously you can change the address which i will show you further and placing clicking on the placing order place order you are then redirect it to the place order screen okay so first of all uh, in this screen we are having you know use coupons so we have also made that screen also you can enter any coupon or you can select for these coupons which are already present and after that you can also enter details if you are ordering for someone else here we have our choose address contact number or gift message after that you can change your address clicking on change opens up the address selection screen you can also add an address or you can edit or delete a already present address clicking on the place order you are uh, redirected to the order confirming screen and then to the home screen now in the profile section we have a phone number and then certain functionalities for example orders address book share app about us and logo clicking on the orders here we have our list of uh, already uh, placed orders you can also view your order here we have our order summary then build details and then order order details uh, you can also repeat order and uh, you can also download the invoice for an example this is a dummy data and uh, after that you have our address book which i have already showed you you can all add it uh, you can all add a address or add edit or delete a already present address after that you have a share the app clicking on which opens up the model and you can now share the application now about us clicking on which opens up the screen which shows uh, description for the application and after that we have log out clicking on the log out opens up a dialog and you can always cancel or log out clicking on the log out you are redirected to the home page so that's it guys 
I have already uh, spent a lot of time on this UI projects. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. And also you can visit the GitHub repository for the source code. And I have already attached it in the description. And also if you want to try the application, I have also attached the APK file. Thank you so much.